Imagine you're a fighter pilot trying to take out an enemy jet from beyond visual range. You fire a radar-guided air-to-air missile. What are the chances that it hits? This is a challenge engineers have been working on for decades, and it hasn't been easy. Back in the 1960s, America's AIM-7 Sparrow radar-guided missile had an absolutely atrocious success rate of just 8%. By the mid-70s, the U.S. had come a long way, and the AIM-54 Phoenix missile had a reported 77% success rate. In the 80s, the U.S. started fielding the earliest AIM-120 AMRAMs that came with a reported 80% or better success rate. And these days, the latest iteration AMRAMs, like the European Meteor, are all considered to have a 90% or better success rate. So, if you're shooting at that bad guy these days, you've got a good chance of hitting him.